got berries. Yeah, berries in the freezer. My name is Andrea. I am a food nerd. Or a little, little magazine called Scope. Would you like to talk about yourself or would you like to... Uh, no, I mean, you, can, you can talk about I'm not going to talk about you. <laughs> not while you're in the room. I can't, um, talk, I can't do two things at the same time. Chris is a, uh, a uh, singer-songwriter, musician, who uh, divides his time between St. John's and Toronto. Um, and what we're doing right now, I'm making some waffles. Chris is going to make some caramelized fruit topping to go on the waffles because it's a little collaborative thing we're doing and uh, it's going to be great. And I have just put um, three quarters of a cup of unbleached white flour, three quarters of a cup of white flour, <laughs> and a quarter cup of toasted wheat germ into this bowl. This is a very, very wholesome breakfast to follow up a night of potential non-wholesomeness. Yeah. Caramelized fruit. Uh, Basically, just something that I think I've seen somebody do in a restaurant once, uh, or maybe a friend. I can't even remember. It, but so it's just blueberries, pears, bananas. <gasps> it's very romantic, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> when you start to know, you know, the different needs of your different ingredients, that's why cooking becomes so much easier because. You know how it's, how, how it's reacting to yeah, it. Yeah, you don't have to guess. You, you know. Chemical reactions. It all makes sense. Chemically, what's happening with my, my dish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. So, all right. So you gotta Look at this stuff. Check it out. Hot iron. Oh, you don't have to spray this one or do anything? No, it's nonstick. It's nonstick. Yeah. Or <laughs> it usually is. Watch now. Well, and that's yeah. the thing about, you know, exactly. romance. If you really care about someone, you don't want them to get up and have Fruit Loops for breakfast. You want to feed them no, something. you want them to come back again, you know, yeah. <laughs> next weekend. You want them to still be in decent <laughs> shape. So, you know, a nice whole grain waffle, some yogurt on top, and then a big pile of delicious fruit. You probably get a good, you know, serving and a half of fruit at the five to ten servings a day. So. You, just keep, you just check it when you, yeah. what, how long for each one? Well, what you want to do is wait for less steam to be coming out because right. the less steam is coming out that means the more is already out because it's already started to dry out. Yeah. Same as when you're cooking rice actually. That's a surefire way to tell that rice mm -hmm. is done is when steam stops coming out. You never never open the lid. Same with this. If you if you open the top before it's ready the whole waffle will just <laughs> split in two and it's really sad. What's the new yogurt? Um it's funny that new but it's really neat. Are we testing? Yeah, we should we test? Alright, here we go. Alright, alright, let's check it out. Mmm. <laughs> that was awesome. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Good waffle. Mm-hmm. 